Hi, I'm Stephen Two Cat Media, and welcome to another video. In fact, well, well, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. In today's video, I want to try and show you guys a way I kind of make money that little bit easier. This is not a cheat. You're not going to make millions of credits in about five seconds. So if that's what you think it's all about, you're probably on the wrong video. But what I am going to show you is how to make money just that little bit easier. Now, obviously, you can go to your orders. You can complete orders and gain XP and credits as well. And I would definitely recommend you do those as much as possible, at least for the first five to eight levels and get yourself a nice accumulation as well. Now, there is certain upgrades that is going to help you, especially... Uh, moving on in the game and for what I'm about to show you to make that money that little bit easier Okay, so look in the toolbox and I'm going to show you right now Okay, so here on the upgrade screen you can see we've got six columns one is for mountain and unmounting Which is that fourth column there one is for financial discounts one is for examination speed The other one's for screwing and unscrewing the other one's for repairs and this one here is for speed now it will help you in the first few levels to unlock the first, at least maybe the first couple of levels of your speed of screwing and unbolting things as well as mounting as well. And maybe unlock like I have here the first 5% discount one because that will help you as well as examining things maybe that little bit quicker. Uh, the speed thing, it does move it a little bit quicker but... Above and beyond the first level, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Now, the second column here is for your repairs, called the Renovator. Now, each level you go up, you can repair more and more mechanical parts. When you get to level four, you can start repairing level one upgrades, as well as the majority of the orange upward mechanical parts. Now, level five, you can start doing body parts, as well as the two-star items. And also level six is the top one where you can repair, well, basically most things, the majority of things that are, that are able to be fixed within the game. So as we move along on the tab here, you can see here we have the garage and the tools. So these are your garage upgrades on the left and on the right you have your different tools. Now you'll want to upgrade this one, which is your garage expansion. It tells you there that you unlock another room which is the back end room of your garage. Now in there, you can then purchase, this is the workbench and a bit later on the body repair station, which you don't really need that to your level five on the renovation and repairs upgrade. So this one for 1,500 will allow you to start repairing certain items depending on your level. Now next to that will be your brake lathe, which again is quite cheap for 1,750 credits. And for that you can repair your brake discs, which you know can help you save just a little bit of money. And it's free as well once you've brought it, you don't have to pay to use it. Now obviously all these will help you somewhat in deciphering what's wrong with a certain car. So definitely worth for the price uh, purchasing these. As is the battery charger, just in case you ever do need to do that. But a big important one for this particular kind of hack, even though it's not really a hack, it's more of a kind of just a way of making money a little bit easier, is the welder. And I'll show you why as well. And finally, the next one you want to unlock, which is actually quite cheap, and this is on the back of your property, is the car wash. It's only 1,750 credits, and that alone can help you make some money. So... I'm going to close this off now and show you the next stage. Okay, so here we're going to look on the map. Now, obviously, you will need to reach a certain level to open up certain things. So use those first few levels just to kind of save up your money and buy some of those smaller upgrades and tools and the diagnostics, etc. Now, at level five, I believe you open up the junkyard, which is quite important. You know, that does take 500 credits to get there. And then once you're there and you've got enough money, well, I'll show you exactly what you can do. Now, you do open up the barn locations at level 10, I believe. And once you've got that, you'll open up crates through doing different jobs. You'll be able to go to these barn finds and find parts and also cars as well, which is going to help you as well. And I believe that's like a, a hundred credits just to travel there. So it's a bit cheaper. So the thing that we want to do here is go across to the maps and go across to the junkyard. Now, before I do this, take a note in the top right corner at the amount of credits. 
I have 48,635 credits. So what we're gonna try and do as quickly as possible without doing too much work is to make a little bit of profit on that. So, and also as well, have a bit of fun, you know, rather than just staying inside the garage and just taking parts off every five seconds, you know? So let's go to the junkyard and let's try and find some parts. Okay, guys, so here we are at the junkyard. Yes, guys, uh, it's a very big place, a lot to explore. Now, the main purpose here is to maybe buy some parts and repair them, depending on your repair level, so know exactly what you can repair through just by completing jobs and getting that kind of that knowledge behind you. Uh, we also want to buy a car, one, maybe two, Depends on how many cars are available. Sometimes there's more than one. And unfortunately, all of these cars here are not for sale. So you just find the odd one sticking out here and there, which we'll have a look at in a moment. You also have these piles of junk, which if you click and hold onto it, you'll see here you can buy mechanical parts, tires, chairs, etc. Now sometimes in these you will find the odd crate if you're lucky and then you can open that crate and get extra XP, maybe credits, etc. So whatever you are lucky to get. Now within these as well, the red items as far as mechanical parts go is you don't want to bother with those too much. Especially for this little bit of an easier way of making money. Uh, what you do want to make a note of though is maybe some chairs as well and it makes no difference about the chairs when we do buy a car if you only got one or maybe no seats in there then just buy a cheap chair one of one with the red bar on there for you know for the repair status there it's in the red it can't be repaired or at least not very i don't think it can be repaired at all actually so you can just go and stick there in there and you'll get a little bit extra when you come to sell it so yeah, and then what I tend to do is buy the orange level gearboxes or the engine blocks and try and repair those, which I can do at my current level. And then you kind of, if you can get those to 100% in the repairs, you can make a little couple of hundred credits profit. Okay, so I'm gonna try and find here, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll buy the throttle and we'll have a go at that. What else do we have here? Uh, nothing, I can't do panels yet. So let's just carry on having a look around. Okay guys, so here you can see our first car to have a look at. It looks okay, there's a few panels missing and very, very dirty indeed. Now this is a Sakura, Sakura Super. It may be a Toyota, I don't know. It's about 13,000 almost with the buying commission as well. Now that is doable, very doable. Uh, if we look at the examination mode as well, and we get XP for doing this, which is really good, we can press and hold down the A button here on the Xbox controller, and you can see there you go up one XP per check. So there I would have got nine XP. We can now check the engine. There's eight parts to check on there. Okay guys, so I've checked this out now, so I'm just gonna close that off. Now if you look inside, there is one seat there, so we could probably go and I'm gonna buy this and try my luck with it. I'm just gonna buy this cheap chair as well, just so it goes inside, just so we get an extra chair, okay? So we're gonna purchase this one and pay the, I think you, I think you do have to pay the buying commission as well. So I'm gonna put that in my garage, so that has now gone. So I'm just gonna have a look in this pile of junk as well, and we'll see as well if you can find one more car at least. Okay, so here we found another car. Actually looks quite a nice car, nice and dirty, which means it'll clean up really, really nice inside and out. It needs two seats, but let's just have a look at the examination of it. Let's just have a look at the car, just see how much it actually is. It's 8,000. I think we could maybe turn a profit on this, maybe. So we'll take a chance on it and we will buy the car. And put that in the garage. Now, let's carry on and maybe buy one more car. Uh, so here we have another car. It looks a bit like a BMW, actually. Let's just have a look exactly what it's called. Yeah, an FMW or a BMW. So this one is 20,000 to buy. 
Uh, let's just have a look again at what exactly. There's a lot of orange parts on there as well, but they, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm tempted. Let's have a look on the examination thing. What's exactly there? We've got 20 engine parts actually. So let's have a quick examination of this and we'll go from there. Okay guys, I am gonna take another chance on this. It would be better if I was able to repair body panels. Uh, I would definitely be able to make uh, that a bit more profit. But for just for this experiment, we'll just see. Even if you make an extra grand on top, then you can see the potential for when you can able to repair body panels as well. Okay, so I'm gonna buy this and <laughs> take that chance. Okay, I keep pressing the wrong button here. There we go. So I'll put that in my garage. We have, I think, three cars now. We're down to 6,000. So we're going to go back to the garage. Okay, guys. So here we have our free, sorry looking scrapyard deals. Now we've got our first car here, which was the Sakura Super. Now you can see here on this tab here, the credit tab, we. Well, that's what it's worth. It's worth now, as if we sold it, 12227 And we purchased it for 12269 Now, we are only 42 credits in the minus. Now, we do obviously have to take into consideration, across the three cards, the 500 credit to travel there. And, I'm, and I think to travel back, actually, but I'm not 100% if it charges that. Okay, so that is not too bad. So others, you can make about seven, eight, or even more uh, credit loss just by bringing them back. So this is the Hinata, Hinata, Hinata Moon Mark One. So if we look along here, we can see that we purchased it for eight and a half thousand almost credits, and we're down to just under three thousand credit loss on that so far. So that's actually not too bad. Now this was our more expensive one. Uh, we're going to go across here. Here was the FMW Panther. Now, if we go across to the credit tab, you'll see here we spent near almost 21,000 credits. And actually it's not too bad actually. We're down 5,800 credits just by bringing it back. So the first thing we're going to do is go across to this car. Now take note, we're down to 5,424 credits. And we need to get back to 48,635 credits at least to draw even. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with this is I'm going to move this to the car wash. Okay, so in the car wash here, we were able to use this jet wash to clean the car on the surface and then this interior detailing toolkit to clean the inside. So first of all, let's have a look at this. Now this was with a minus 42 loss, don't forget, which wasn't too bad. So we're gonna give that a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Let's see, oh yeah, not, not well, it's full of rust. So uh, yeah, not great at all. So now let's do the detailing kit. Okay, now that actually looks really, really good. Now I am gonna have a look here and hopefully we've made a profit already on this. Wow, for a free car wash and a free detailing clean, we've now raised the value by 4,348 credits. That is actually really, really good. And that may help us if we make a loss on another car. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now I'm gonna take that back and move it to uh, car lift A. And then what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna get the welder and I'm gonna move that over to car lift A. Now before I start doing this, what I'm going to do is some of the parts that I picked up at the scrapyard, I am going to try and fix as much as possible and then sell those for a bit of, uh, well hopefully a bit of profit, okay? So we've got here the bottom suspension arm, so I'm gonna try that. And the idea is to get it in the green. Now sometimes, uh, depending on your level, there is a chance, a uh, percentage chance that it will go straight to 100% rather than the, like this one, the 75% if we're successful. Okay, so there we are. We repaired as much as we can from the spare parts. 
Now, if I go into my inventory, we can just go and sell those parts now. Okay, so here we are. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to use the... It costs 500 credits. And you do then, you use the welder and it, all the parts, the panels that can't be removed, which as you can see there, how beautiful is that? And that's well worth it. So if we just take a quick look at that, at the car status, you can see it's gone up to 7,981 credits already, just by welding and washing. Now, on here, if we go to interior parts and click add, we can add a seat and we should be able to choose any one of these three. And I'm gonna choose the cheapest one here. Just stick that in there. And then hopefully we can now get rid of that and just see if it's gone up. There we go, 8,000. We probably paid about, what, 30, 40, 50 credits for it maybe, or around that. And we've made you now about 100 uh, credits as well. It will go up a little bit more depending on the car. But I think for now, what we're going to do is try and sell this. Go to car status and I'm going to sell that car. So we're already we're up to 30,000. So that's 18,000 short of our starting amount. So now let's go out to our second car and we're going to take that to the car wash. Now here, before we start, we can see here that we were 2,900 in the red on this particular car, as well as the 500 that we spent as well. Now, let's go and clean the car both inside and out. Okay, now it's looking spick and span. Let's have a look. Okay, and not as big a, a jump as I wanted, but 1,226. So let's go and take that back to car lift A. And then we'll try and use the welder and see if we can make a little bit of a profit on that. That's another 500 credits, but it should hopefully get us into the green. So let's have a look. Okay, we're slightly in the green with this 340 credits. Uh, it could be better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to this car. Uh, in fact, actually, what I think that we can do is we can uh, put some of those seats in, can't we? So let's have a look here. We'll stick that seat in there. Ooh, we could have brought some back seats as well. I didn't realize that. Okay, so I keep doing this. Sorry, I do apologize. Uh, and now let's have a look if that's gone up somewhat. Okay, 500, about an extra 100 each. Okay, I'm going to go out to the other car. We're going to do the same and see if we can still make a profit. So this is the more expensive car. So I'm going to move this to the car wash. And if we click on the car status, we can see here we're down 5,800 on this car. So let's give it a wash on the outside, the inside, and then take it for welding. Okay guys, so here we have the two cars that are left. We're about 500 in the green with this one, and about one and a half thousand after washing and welding with this one. So we can have a look on this one to see if there's anything else we can do. If we was able to repair the panels and also the rims, which I can start to do at level five on the renovator, then I would definitely be making a profit, hopefully. So let's just uh, raise it up and we'll see what parts we can change, if anything, and repair. Okay guys, so I've taken off the, some of the easier parts to do around the wheels area, the brakes and some of the suspension parts. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of these onto the brake lathe and while that's doing that because that takes quite a few seconds to do i'm going to try and repair some of these okay so those are repaired now i'm just going to remove those brake discs and just do these other three really quickly Okay, so those are all done now. So I'm going to go back and see if we can put these parts on and maybe, hopefully, 
make a little bit of money. Okay, guys, so I've put those back on. So let's uh, take a look now to see if we've made uh, any kind of profit on there. Okay, so go to car status. Okay, 1,300. We've probably spent a little bit of that on there. I think at this point, I'm going to sell the car. I got up to 39,000. So I am, well, I'm 9,600 behind. Now, with this car here, we're already going to be hopefully making a profit then because I can sell this for 19,000. Uh, you know, I'm making a 1,500 loss. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the engine to see if there's any bits I can actually repair. Okay, so I'm just going to go and repair these parts first and just put them quickly back on the car. Okay, so we did have some fails there. There is definitely a latency issue while playing this with my current capture card. So that's something I'm going to need to maybe look at. But I've got the majority of them, so I'm not too hopefully not too worried we'll see how it goes so let's put these parts back on the car okay so now let's have a look and see if we've made any kind of a different okay so we're up for 5400 obviously there's going to be some cost there for repairs as well so now I'm going to sell the car and we're going to say it for 26,000. Okay, so now you can see on the credits that we have 64,549, which is an approximate increase of around, what, 16,000 profit? And we had a bit of fun doing it. We went to the, to the scrapyard. We searched in a few, you know, piles of junk, found a few items, and we also purchased uh, free cars. Uh, obviously, I had the credits to do that initially, but you can see yourself, even from the very first car there, you can make a small amount of profit, even just by potentially welding and washing and doing the interior detailing as well. So that is a way you can make some money in between, uh, obviously, completing other jobs and orders. Listen, I hope this video has helped you out somewhat. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a big like and a big thumbs up. And any comments, put them in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then, well, I think the only thing to do there is to subscribe to the channel. And then you too, my friend, can be part of the exclusive yet elusive community that is 2Cat Media. So until the next video, stay safe and game on.